What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. I do want to focus in on Jamie Langenbrenner hanging up the skates. And, uh, you know, it's actually funny. A few weeks ago, I did that 90210. Uh, and Brenda Walsh dated Jamie Langenbrenner piece. And now he re he's officially retired. So he probably saw that and was like, oh my god, I got to get out of this. Uh, but in all seriousness, you know, Jamie Langenbrenner was an amazing hockey player. Uh, I remember, you know, you, most of the time I remember watching the plays with the Devils, um, you know, won two Stanley Cups, one in New Jersey and one in Dallas, alongside arguably the greatest American of all time, and uh, and Mike Madonna. But uh, you know, last couple of years with St. Louis, you know, I think he played four games last year and then had a hip injury, and you know, had to, you know, that was it for his career. And uh, you know, you just guy like that, um, you know, never really the highest scoring guy. Was at sixty points a few times, I believe, in both numbers now, but. He, um, you know, he, he did what he had to do, and he was an integral part of winning teams. You know, I, the, I, the aforementioned two Stanley Cups, but also, I mean, New Jersey was a perennial playoff team while he was there. Um, you know, he was a captain of the silver medal United States Olympic team in, uh, in 2010. And, uh, you know, there's, um, there's a lot to be said for how he played the game and, you know, how he, he brought veteran leadership to a, a young Dallas team in uh, his second stint with the Stars uh, when they finished just short of the playoffs in 2011. And also um, that St. Louis Blues team. You know, they had the second best record in hockey his last, you know, full season with 70 games with the, with the Blues in 2011-2012. Uh, so, you know, he, he impacted young players a number of different, um, on a number of occasions. You know, Peterborough Pete's guy, a uh, Minnesota kid, and uh, another guy I wish nothing but the best for. I mean, 69 points, 60 points, 55 points. Um, yeah, you know, his numbers are were good across the board. A very consistent winger that, uh, you know, had a good mix of size and skill. And, uh, like I said, veteran presence on a lot of teams. And a guy that, um, you know, really taught, like, again, kind of like that, not as prolific as Mark Recchi, but in terms of how he was a, uh, around a lot of winning teams and showed younger guys how to be winners. Um, you know, remember the, the ZZ Pops line was Zach Parisi, Travis Zajac, and uh, Jamie Langenbrenner. You know, Pops is and he's an older guy, and obviously the, the great band ZZ Top, but you know, you look back on it, I mean, he's got a good shot at the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame, not the not the one in Toronto, but the American Hockey Hall of Fame, played 1,100 games, uh, had 663 points. I'm just glad he didn't have three more and retire, because, <laughs> whoa, you know, and then spent a lot of your career with the New Jersey Devils, you know, the uh, the Catholic schoolboy would be, would be scared shitless, but anyway, that's our next episode of the Power Play with CJ on Jamie Langenbrenner hanging up the skates. Stay tuned for more episodes about the season and beyond. Later, guys.